Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So if you see this camera shake, it's because I'm having to hold it by my hand because the sun is shining so brightly on it that it's literally stopping it from working. So I'm like, let me just hold this out of the sun so we can actually film these goddamn videos. For this video I wanted to talk about um, something that's been happening recently with Kanye West where he uploaded his um, contract with, was it with Universal I think, on his Twitter and I like saved the whole contract so I wanted to read it through and just see like I've never seen a major label contract before so I wanted to like read through it and stuff. So I want to talk about like the exploitation when it comes to major labels and just the whole music industry as a whole because I feel like a lot of people that are not in the industry that don't make music or anything have not been aware of what happens and the types of exploitation that goes on in the contracts and in a previous video that I did on this channel I talked about um I think it was the video about the difference between signing or being independent and I went into like the contracts and what happens and how you have to pay things back and everything but what I didn't realize which I've now discovered from Kanye's contract is the fact that not only do you pay back the advance, like the investment money that they give you up front, not only do you have to pay that back, but you pay it back through your percentage of royalty. Like I thought that when money comes in from your streams and from your tour and all of that kind of stuff, like it first goes back to the label, like all of it goes back to the label to pay them back and then you start getting your share of the profit. But I didn't realise that what goes back to the label for the advance that you got was just your percentage that you're making. So like in Kanye's um, record deal, he's only getting 18%, which that alone for an artist that big is just ridiculous. Like 18% is nothing, basically nothing. And so for him to repay the advance that he got, and I saw that he got like 3 million just for recording fund, so, and I think it was like 13 million or something that they invested in, in him total. So like 13 fucking million. He has to pay back that 13 million just out of his 18% before he makes anything. So like his 18% is not going to give him that much, but he's got to use the 18% that he gets to pay back 18 million before he makes anything for himself. That's insane to me like that blew my mind and that's just so like it's basically impossible if you're a small artist there's just no way that you'd be able to pay back the amount of money that they invest into you before you make anything like that would take you years and that's probably why so many artists are broke because they're having to pay back such large sums from a tiny percentage before they even get anything for themselves. So that just literally blew my mind and I wanted to like come on here and add to the video that I talked about before where I broke down how um, contracts work because that's something that I did not realize was that it comes out of your percentage. I thought that it's just like all profit would pay back the advance first but no, it comes out of your tiny little percentage. So this is even more reason for me not to even want to sign because what the fuck is that? And nowadays you have to be quite well known, have a good solid fan base and everything before labels even take interest in you. So you have to do all of the hard work first, build up your whole brand first before they even will look at you. So that just seems so pointless and to then sign your royalty like sign a huge percentage of your royalties away and then also sign away your masters like what the fuck it just doesn't even seem worth it to me anymore so yeah I'm glad that he's at least starting to expose the shit that's happening and on top of that trying to change the whole contract system and the way that the music industry functions like I think that is such a powerful move something that we really really need and regardless of whether he's doing it through ego or whatever anyone wants to criticize him for like to me it doesn't even matter what his intent is if he's gonna make a big change then I'm all for it so hopefully it happens hopefully it goes where we want it to go and these deals start to get better 
But regardless of whether deals are good, me personally, I'm not selling my soul to a corrupt system that runs the money, owns the banks. Like when you look higher up, it's not these label heads really that control it. It's people far beyond them. And I'm not gonna go down that whole rabbit hole. But for me, I just don't want any part of Hollywood because like they brainwash children. They do all kinds of fucked up shit, not just music, but everything. And I just don't care to take part in the destruction role of trying to dumb society down like that's just not something i want to be a part of but i do think that it's good that finally as creators and artists like we need our rights we need our ownership we need our um like we need our worth to be noticed and realized and acknowledged so i think 18 percent is a goddamn joke like i'm not gonna lie especially for somebody as big as him like 18 percent just blows my mind but yeah anyway so i hope this video was helpful and made sense and if you have anything to add to it definitely leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because i do upload three times a week and check out the description box for all links to my music my social media my phone number my merch my crystal healing jewelry and so so much more will all be in the description box below and i will see you in the next video bye you could say I love you I can't get enough, boy I just want you to myself